everyone. I'm going to cook something southwestern today with a kind of a Mexican flair and maybe something Italian too. And we are going to check in to see how Harry is doing with the Libre 2, what the differences are between our Libre 2s and our Keto Mojos because I think that's important to know. And we're going to give you an update on our weight and more so you guys stay tuned. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey everyone, this is a busy, busy week for me because we are getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm hosting it here at my house. I'm cooking the meal, the main stuff. The kids are bringing in uh, an item each, but we've rearranged our living room yesterday. Today, Harry's going to shampoo carpets. We have a shampooer, hopefully it works. Um, and we've got stuff to do as far as prep is concerned. Um, I've got some things I want to make ahead of time. One of them is bread. So this is the kickoff of getting prepped for my dinner on Thursday, Thanksgiving. You guys, how many of you guys are doing the Back on Track for Weight Loss Challenge with us? If you are, today is the 18 hour fast, six hour eating window. So if you start at 12, you should end at six. That's the easiest way to tell you that. Uh, regular keto foods, use your macros, lift some weights. We never tell you what foods to eat doing this. You can do this as a regular keto person. You can do it as a low carb person. You can do it as a vegan low carb person. We have some vegans and vegetarians that are doing keto and they're doing great on it. We, you can do this as a carnivore because we don't tell you what foods to eat, just what to do in the day to keep it interesting, to give it your body a chance to keep it guessing because our bodies are a very fine tuned instrument. They get used to running at a certain level. And if you're doing the same thing all the time and you're not getting results, you need to rev the engine, right? You need to give your body a reason to change and reset where it's at. So with the protocol that we do, we call them challenges that Harry and I do, we are changing um, the RPM on our engine to get it to help it to burn fat for fuel and to help us get some weight off. So we do these little challenges that are always a protocol, not telling you what foods to eat. Now, we do have a list of foods that we go by and it's roughly based on what Dr. Westman says. We've made a few small changes, but if you look at his original page four and then you go to his book the um, that he has written with Amy Berger, um, and also looked at his videos, he's add some things. If you want a little chocolate, sometimes you can have it. If you want to use a shake, sometimes you can use it. So he's added some things um, that he talks about on some of his um, uh, information uh, videos that he puts out. So we have a back on track for weight loss challenge, do's and don'ts. We've adjusted for Harry and I some of the fats on here based on our metabolism and what we think works best for us. So we have that as a list so that we can go back to that and look at it. If we're out or about or we forget or we've got some um, other issues that we need to know. And then we've added our fasting. When we purposefully fast, like we did today, we drink black coffee, black plain tea, green or black, uh, we drink sparkling unflavored water or still water, which is out of the tap water, distilled water, bottled water, that kind of thing. So I've added that on there too. That just helps me have a guideline to go by whenever I need it. And for some of you who have asked for it, so we have provided that to you. But you can do Dr. Westman, you can do the BBBE, you can do, you know, the the proper human diet. You can do all those things, but change your protocol every day to help get your body thinking that that it, it needs to constantly change to get where you're at, and then you change it again so that it can continuously burn fat for fuel. So that's what we do. 
Anyway, you guys, um, Harry, where's my phone? Hold, please. As you guys, if you're regular viewers, yesterday Harry got his Libre 2 sensor and it takes about 24 hours to stabilize and get uh, going. But his average readings, it's interesting, are about 10 points above what his Keto Mojo was reading every single day. This is his average just for the two days and everything has been above 100. Yeah. Now we did turn it off at night because we don't want it to go low just because we roll over and lay on our sensors. Um, we're not too worried about going too low on ours. Uh, mine, I do tend to go low. I do have low spots. Now on mine, mine seems to be about 20 points lower, 10 to no, 10 to 15 points lower than my Keto Mojo. So I'm reading lower, Harry's reading higher. I have a lot of lower uh, readings as far as uh, I go down to 68, all the way down to 54. So I have some low glucose episodes, especially at night. Now, I have heard from several of you that if you roll over and you're laying on your sensor, it will read low. I have stopped sleeping on this side and I'm sleeping on this side or on my back. Harry, unfortunately, sleeps on, he, he rolls over and does things, but he just needs to get used to it. So his whole arm hurts from working out yesterday, so he says he doesn't know if it's this that's bugging him or if it's just that his whole arm is hurting him. So you guys saw that we have been working out and I have been working really hard on my legs, strengthening my legs and working on my arms. Yes, indeed. I may have wrinkly loose skin, but I'm working on the muscles and my bone density because for the first time in my life, we went back and got blood work up and a whole bunch of tests, August, September time frame. I had my DEXA bone density scan, and for once, uh, I have come up with, uh, what is it, sarcopenia? Or what is it, osteopenia? Yeah. Osteopenia, where you have a slight uh, 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 de decline in bone density, and I wanna build that back up. I don't want to go into osteoporosis, which is where Harry is. He was there after he had his heart surgery and once we became vegan, he went into osteoporosis at 65 because, and the doctor actually did an infusion of a calcium treatment, which caused extreme pain for two weeks as it was working, never again. So mm -hmm. we're working very hard on bone density and muscle, building the muscle not allowing our body to uh, cannibalize our muscle. And as you get older, your body quickly reverts to those things a lot more quickly than when you were younger. And it's harder for a lot of folks, and I'm 68 and a half, for people to uh, process protein and meat properly anymore. So adding more protein, I think as you get older, you need more protein so that you have enough protein so you don't cannibalize your muscles. Um, we become uh, sedentary more and more so. So it was extremely important for us to get up and start moving. Is it hard? Yes. Is it torture? Yes. In the beginning it is. But just like everything else, your body realizes how good it is for it. And then you start changing and you start feeling better because of it. So that's where we are in our process. And I wanna share all of that with you guys on a daily basis. So thank you all for telling me that you can see some gains already. You can see a little bit different definition because that's important what we see sometimes isn't what someone else looking in can see, right? Um, sometimes when we're looking in the mirror, the mirror has rose tinted glasses or the opposite effect. We don't see it and you do. So thank you so much for all the comments. I truly appreciate that. But you guys, what did we weigh yesterday? Yes, we went 
and worked out. Then we came home and moved furniture. My arms last night and this morning, my arms are very tight. My uh, upper legs are tight still. So also Harry did not sleep. He could not sleep. I think you had what four hours sleep maybe mm -hmm. you think yeah what time like did you finally get up this morning i don't know 5 30. and you didn't go to bed till one right and then you laid in bed and what did you watch tv last night no. i can't remember because i went to sleep right no. away mm -hmm. anyway i weighed exactly the same so i did not gain any water weight from working out harry went up a pound Everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, exercise, inflammation, lack of sleep, all of those things have a direct effect on water retention. And I think that's what's happening to Harry. Yesterday was a low, oh, yesterday was a refuel your body day. No, wait a minute. Yesterday was a low calorie day. We're a day, we are doing what you do on the day that the protocol that is, that you see this video. So sometimes I get confused and I apologize for that. But it was a low calorie day and you guys saw what we had to eat. Basically those chicken wings, I call them chicken wings. They're chicken drumsticks. We don't eat chicken drumsticks as often as we do chicken wings. And I noticed when I was watching the video this morning that Harry didn't see that when I called them chicken wings um when i first pulled them out mm -hmm. those are some pretty big chicken wings yes they are those are drummies from a big bird um but you guys that redmond real salt uh chili lime is both of our favorite i love the barbecue too but man that chili lime is awesome so you guys today we've got a lot to do and we've got to get started we um are going to break our fast i think i've got an idea for breakfast so you guys come back in the next segment and we'll share. Several of you asked me, where did I get the waterproof little uh, patch that goes over the um, Libra sensor? Can you see that, Harry? Mm -hmm. That clear, that lasts about seven to 14 days. It is waterproof. It is Han Yu waterproof adhesive patches for CGM sensors. It is breathable, hypoallergenic, latex-free, and trusted by over 100,000 plus diabetes. They had over 3,800 comments on this. You get either a 40 pack or a 60 pack. The 40 pack was $8.99 on Amazon. The 60 pack is $12.99, and we can put that link down in the description below if you wanna go get them. Um, it, the long stay is up to 10 to 14 days. Someone said, it says it's hypoallergenic here. It doesn't say you can't swim in it. So I would swim in it and see. You get enough in here that if it does, I mean, if you can take a shower and it doesn't say anything, it just says that it's waterproof. And someone asked, is it safe for swimming? I don't know why it wouldn't be. I would look at your, your sensor, your CGM, to see if it is waterproof and if you can swim shower bathe whatever you want to do water sports wise with it or jacuzzi or a sauna see what your specific sensor says rather than this this is waterproof but i think it's more important to see what your sensor says rather than this because i think they both go together but anyway i just wanted to share that with everybody because i had several of you ask and i said watch this next video and i would explain it so there you go there you have it okay you guys we are having a little bit of a a uh huevos rancheros mexican flair kind of a breakfast without the refried beans yes we are i am going to take hold please how does that look much better i am going to fry us some eggs and i'm going to top them with cheese and hot sauce and sour cream i'm going to reheat i've got two of our enchiladas those are so good my pork enchilada cremas i'm going to reheat these and that is what we are going to have for breakfast. I thought that would be really good. Oh yeah. And give us a nice flare. And if we're still hungry, we can open up a can of sardines and pop that open. 
and eat those as well. But that's what I'm thinking. I want to get those going. This is supposed to be able to heat in this container. I think I should put it on a plate instead. Yep. That's what I'm thinking too. Let me get a big plate, a white one. I can't put them on the black plates because they have gold around the lip. So they are not microwavable. I want to brown my eggs and get them going real quick. Brown my butter. Boy, I'm noticing the eggshells and these white eggs. The shells are so thin compared to the cage-free organic brown eggs that we're used to buying. But the prices of eggs are getting pretty expensive and the shelves are getting bare. That's with any food. But uh, we eat leftovers here in our house, don't we, Harry? Yep. And I wanna. Which I like. I like it too. I wanna put those in. Especially if it's something I really like to eat. If I had guacamole or some, some sliced avocado, I would be all over that. I don't have any. I would add it so you can add uh, jalapenos to this. Ooh, wait a minute. Do I have jalapenos? You got any? Why, yes. I just happen to have some. I have tamed jalapenos. My fave. They add flavor without being too over the top hot. Right. Put a little bit more in. That'd be good. You know? Mm hmm. I'm going to take my other hand, the one that doesn't have the juice on it. And put some cheese on top of that. How are you going to do that? Like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. My handful is about a half of a cup. I'm going to check my enchiladas. Back. They're dense, so they need to be reheated pretty pretty good. I would say two minutes on high. One minute didn't do much for them because they're so dense. Turn off your oven if it's electric and just let that go. I'm excited now, are you? Oh yeah, I've been wanting these for a couple of days. Poor Harry wanted to eat these at like 11 o'clock at night, and I'm like, don't you dare. Oh, yeah, I mean, I was going to jump on them. Mm. I'm excited. Yes, indeed, I am. Yeah, me too. These are going to be delicious. This is going to be great, great. I love enchiladas because you can cook them the next day. They make great leftovers. Yeah, I think that's why I like them so much. If you can, if you can make a big batch, you've got leftovers. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll uh, I'll take some of that right now. And in my mouth right now. Ooh, 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 look at that. <sighs> Smells good too. It does. How's that? How's that? Uh, Mexican smell. Yeah, that, it's great. That flair. Your favorite Mexican restaurant. All the cheese, all the goodness. Yes. Let me put this over here. Let me take that. Oh man, look at those. Woo! Oh, yeah, man. Juicy. 
see where the A go up is? Yes. Let's stick together. These are my pans, then it'll just slide right out. Along with the other one. Look at that. Oh, it almost came out on you. Okay. Turn the plate around. Yeah, there you go. Ah. How'd it go? Look at that. Woo, man. Now, put a little bit of hot sauce on this. It's a problem with watching you, Wendy. If it's an OMAD day, you're kind of like oh, I know somebody going crazy. Sorry, so a dollop of sour cream. Get up there. Ooh, look at Stay that. right oh. there. And you guys, you have got. Huevo Rancheros Wendy style. Yes, indeed. The only thing that's missing is the refried beans, and I don't miss them at all. All right, I'm good. So, you guys, it's break fast. I'm going to have Harry take a taste test, so come right back. Which one? Is this one? Whichever one you want, dear, you choose. This is good. It's right here in front of me. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. God, I love that smell, you know? Ooh, you can smell the jalapenos. Can you? Yeah. Let me see. Okay, where are you going to take a taste? Well, I want to take this, and then I want to taste that. Okay, a little bit of sour cream. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Mmm. You got to make some more of those. Yeah. Because the second day... Better. Oh, whatever day. This is like what... You didn't have them yesterday. You didn't have them yesterday. <laughs> what on the day before? Try the eggs with a little sour cream. Oh, get the little jalapeno. That's right. Oh, yeah. There's your body. Oh, yeah. A little bit of everything on there. See that? Look at that. Mmm. Oh, we're not dead. No! Kind of can see it, right? Yep. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> Tastes like huevos. Huevos Rancheros, yeah, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Like it. Without the refried beans. Now I got to three, everything. It's the same time. Have a little enchilada with your egg. Mm. Okay, put that down. It's my turn. Oh, that's really good. Oh. Well, I know what my enchilada tastes like, you guys, but I do want to try my my version of the Huevos Rancheros eggs. Yes, I do. Because I miss that. Mexican flavoring. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Dip that in that egg yolk. Get the cheese, the jalapeno. Where is it? Where is it? Whoops. Got to have that. Got to have that. Got to have that. Got a little of everything. Put it in mm. there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Good, huh? I know, man. It's just what you've been. Well, it's what I really look for. If they're looking for something mm. different, you're missing that southwestern Mexican flair. That's what I would do. So, you guys, you might want to go back and see the one where you make those. Okay, where I made my uh, pork. Yeah, it's fact, a lot of you know what? Because I'll put, I'll put, put up it, the recipe too. I'll put it up on the other channel. Okay. 
Okay, and the recipe is there. It's pinned to the top. The only thing it doesn't have is macros because it depends on the sauce you use, enchilada sauce versus hot sauce, etc., and the meat that you use too in the can. Because you can, if you don't eat pork, use chicken, use tuna, you know, use the meat of your choice. But you guys, make it because it's delicious. I, I got something to say before you sign okay. off and we go eat. A lot of people kind of wonder why we got these two channels going. Uh, pretty much. This one you're on right now is sort of like our life. our life. Every day. Dealing with keto and how we go about it and what we do during the day from, you know, doing the keto lifestyle. The other one is just cooking. That's all it is, is just cooking without all the other stuff. That's pretty much why we built the other channel because a lot of people like to go back and see just that part of the video. Are you so, going to start adding stuff on there? Yeah, again? I'm going to start adding stuff on there again. So that's why I asked. And a lot of you guys gave me some ideas so i'm gonna go ahead and find those and put them up okay anyway you guys gotta eat now yes indeed hey everyone i've been reading your comments and jerry oh my gosh we totally forgot about the pork rinds you sent us we put it in a box we put it back in the pantry in the corner and the minute i started reading it i talked i said it out loud harry jumped up ran in there and found the box because we are so excited you know i'm telling you because oh man we're gonna have these for thanksgiving with our crudite i'm gonna have two little bowls of that so we've got that covered but these puppies are the things we're going to have right now i'm gonna throw the box because we were wanting these we didn't even think about it because we had it when we couldn't eat them. And now we can eat them and we forgot about them. So thank you, Jerry, for reminding us. Okay, I'm excited because everybody says these are delicious. So let's do one. These are delicious. Let's do one. Harry's like, let's do one. Microwavable Lowry's. If I could tear here. There we go. These tear here boxes don't always work. We got trust on them. Well, I'm trying. There. Woo! Now, let's see. What do you do? Less than one carb total per serving, hot and crispy. Lowry's bacon crumbles. Bacon curls, not crumbles. Microwavable pork rinds, chicharrones. These are the hot and crispy ones. Cool. Less than let's one total it. carb. So let's see. You want to take it out. Shake the bag. Microwave. Center unfolded along the bag. So like doing the old popcorn. It is. Now. I'm so excited, Jerry. Thank you for reminding us. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that this is perfect because I love, I love these epics. Okay, let's see what it says. Now, shake the bag five or six times, or five, six. Unfold the bag. Shake the bag, microwave, and watch it. Center unfolded bag, turntable on the floor of the microwave, direction side up. Put on high for one to two minutes. Stop when the bag stops expanding. Do not leave unattended. Product does not pop and the bag may not fully expand like popcorn. Open carefully. Here we go, I'm so excited. Put that in there and I'm gonna put it on one, uh, let's see, 150. No, stop, two, and watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Harry was like, we both jumped up and ran into the pantry going, where is it? What did we do with it? And there was this box on the floor in the corner mm -hmm. over by my dryer and open it up and sure enough, there it is. So I am super excited. How many of you guys have tried these? How long does it say to do it for? Two minutes, up to two minutes. I'm watching it. Hear it? It's kind of crispy, crispy sounding. 
See, it's getting big in the middle. Mm-hmm. You sound like a weird when you get close, so. I know. Getting bigger and bigger. I'm listening. Don't get too much closer to that thing. You got enough brain cells that are. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. That, are, that are what, Harry? That are. That are. That are. That are. That are, that are what? Gone. I, I, I'm the cook, so you have to be careful. Uh huh. Gone. Well, yeah, from getting kicked in the head and the heart with the words. No, no, twice. no. Don't try to make me feel I bad. I am. Yeah, I it, am. she's using that. that don't. I do have that. had traumatic head injury, dear. We know that's that's why I've just being married to you and made a lot my things, brain you know. swell. I just overlooked a lot of things, you know. Let's see what it looks like. I don't hear anything. Okay. We've got 15 more seconds, so. Ooh, let's see. It's so hot. Oh, it smells good. Let me get a plate. Or a bowl. Carefully bowl. open. One to two minutes. Microwave. Cosmic very. Watch. Carefully open. Bag is hot. Excuse my stove. It's it's from this eating. It's from eating? Yes, cooking the eggs this morning. Grab here to open. Oh, the steam, you know. Mm -hmm. Just like popcorn of old. You feel, you feel like it's new. Ooh, I'm excited. Look at these. They're still, listen, up. listen. They're snap, crackling, Shh. and popping. Are they still going to pop? Hear it? Sounds like Rice Krispies to me, keto style. Yeah, right? I don't think I'm gonna eat one until it quits popping. But oh my gosh. Mm, smell that. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't trust it not popping. Give me one. Give me one? Give me one. You reach your hand no, in there and grab one. Listen, it's popping still. Okay. Mmm. Try really? that. Yeah. Really? Mm. Wow. Is that good or what? Those are the best ever. Oh, well, aren't they? Wow. Those are the best ever. Cool. Jerry, thank you so much. From the bottom of our heart, pardon me for talking, but man. My stomach. They're still popping. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. They say that this bag is 3.5 servings. I hate it when they do that. We're splitting it. Cal, here, can you see this? I don't know, pull it up. Calories 80, fat six, carbs less than one gram, zero sugars. They do have maltodextrin. Here, come look. Pork rinds, maltodextrin, salt, less than 2% of natural flavorings. Uh-oh. Monosodium glutamate. Animals. I can't have them. How come? They have monosodium glutamate. Oh, they got... They have MSG oh, in MSG them. If you're allergic to aspartame, you're usually allergic to MSG, and I am allergic to MSG. I had one. It just makes me very really? queasy. Very yeah, queasy. Really. So these are a treat for us. Yeah. And don't come after us, you guys. We know what's in them, and we're eating them. Harry's going to eat them, and he's going to enjoy them. I'm going to wait until Thanksgiving Day, and I'm going to enjoy these specifically. And we're going to taste these, too. And that'll go with our charcuterie board perfectly, because we couldn't find the pork rinds I wanted because they were totally sold out. So, Jerry, thank you again for this. Thank you so very much. And Harry now has something he can pop. 
and have as a snack. Look at those. Yeah, so you can have any honey. If you guys can eat them and those ingredients don't bother you and they don't raise your insulin and you can burn fat for fuel eating them, then that is fine by us. No keto police on this product, please. I feel really bad though. Well, yeah, as you're eating them in front of me. Okay, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment. Hey everybody, I am cooking dinner and we're having chicken Alfredo. I've got um, that was exciting. butter, I know, butter, olive oil. I have uh, shirataki, konjac root, fettuccine. Uh oh. I've got one container of it. I've got a huge thing of creamy uh, Sonora Gourmet, uh, creamy Alfredo, which I'm not going to use the whole thing of. I've got a little bit of garlic. I've got one can of chicken. And I've got some mozzarella. So you guys, I need to drain and rinse the fettuccine and drain oh, and rinse. Won't, won't eat it. Drain and rinse the chicken breast, and we'll be right back because it's all going in this skillet. All together, it's going to be warm, tossed, and done. So you guys, come back in the next segment after I get the fettuccine drained and rinsed, and my chicken drained. What I like about the skinny pasta is this is no odor. It doesn't have that ammonia fishy smell to it at all. Which makes me run out the house. Which you can't stand. So basically there's a two package process. So you just gotta get into the next one and I'm just gonna, where are you at? I gotta be able to see. Okay. And it really does not have any odor. So since I am rinsing both at once, I'm just going to pour this right in there. I always rinse and wash my cans out because I can't stand the smell in my trash can. And then they all go in a bag outside. I don't know about you guys, but... I'm rinsing it. I want to leave my chicken chunked, but I'm just rinsing it really good. Chunky chicken. Chunky. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it just uh, drain for a little bit. I'm gonna put this back over here. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. what? Scissors. Scissors. Mozzarella. Let's cut that open. Get it all ready to go. Turn on my water. I've got a tablespoon of butter tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Teaspoon for garlic. Super plain, super easy, super simple. I'm just gonna put some in. A little bit of garlic. Because we love garlic, I'm gonna let that get heated up. And I'm gonna, I use this, but that's dirty. So let me trade you places, Harry. Shake this. What is that? The Alfredo sauce, cause I'm not gonna use it all. I'm gonna measure it. A quarter cup is a serving. If you look at the nutritional guide. I bought these at Costco. The ingredients are on the side. Let me put the lid on so you can get the ingredients for everybody. Right here. Okay. So basically it's heat and eat. The canned chicken is already cooked. The fettuccine noodles don't need to be cooked, but they do need to be dried and cooked for just a little bit. We'll put a little bit of seasoning in it. And then we'll be a done deal. I want to get, and you guys, run, don't walk. Redmond Real Salt has of the big bags back. Uh-oh. Use our discount down in the description below and stock up before they're gone. 15%. Right? Look what happened. 
I ran out of my chef's blend and I've been buying the small containers. Keep your small containers and refill them with the big ones, you guys. Also, real light electrolytes are back in stock too. They've got all the flavors. Go get them now. 15% off. Use our discount, Loving It on Keto. Click on the link down in the description below. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to remind you of that because I have been waiting very impatiently. Here's Me my, too. Here's my garlic. That was my favorite. Marty, did you order here. a couple of my favorites? Yes, come over here. Yes, I did. Just gotta put this in. And I'm gonna let this chicken stay chunky. I don't want it to be unchunky. I like nice chunks of chicken in my fettuccine. So I'm gonna let that just dry off and get those noodles a little bit more opaque. I'm going to put this in the wash over here. So if we each get a half a cup, we'll see what one cup does for both of us. And this is going to be two servings. I'm not sure about this. I think I'm going to have to do a taste test for me. Okay. You know I am about the noodles, right? I know how you are. I promise you, these do not smell at all. If your noodles, if your shirataki noodles smell at all, put a quarter of a cup of vinegar water in a little bowl with water, let them soak in there for about 10 minutes, then rinse them really well, and it will remove all the odor because that's what I used to do. Let me get two bowls. Excuse me, Sam. See how these get um, white, opaque? The noodles do? Yeah, they do. That means they're drying out a little bit because we want them to absorb the sauce that we have coming. Shake it, 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 shake it. Here comes sauce. And I want to put one cup in at a time. One cup. That's two servings each. That looks pretty dang good. That's two servings each? Yep. A quarter, a quarter of a cup. A tomato sauce. All of those things are only a quarter of a cup. Because they have carbs in them. Yes, they do. But look at this. How nice is that? Perfect. This is where you want to put a little bit of salt. I'm using Redmond Organic Seasoned Salt, which I need to get more of because I'm almost out. Same thing, 15% off. Go in the discount below. Oh, that's why that comes from there too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Did you order some more of that? Yes, I did. I ran, not walked. Yeah, because it goes because fast. Because it goes fast. I'm going to put a little bit of... Da, 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 da. As soon as the word gets out, man. Yes. Crazy. Do not wait. Do not. I repeat, do not wait. It must be nice to have a company where you can't keep up with the a demand. A little bit of white pepper in this. Oh yeah, smell that. Ooh. And I'm gonna put some mozzarella on top. Oh, about an ounce, and then I'll put an ounce, a little, I don't know, two ounces. There we go. Well, well the girls' hands come with markings on yes, them. Yes, they do. You know. Yes, they do. Spoonful and all that stuff. A tablespoonful, there yeah. you go. I'm going to let that get melted, and then we are going to plate that, and that won't take very long to melt. Okay, it's ready. It is ready, Harry. Okay, I'm going to taste this. I'm going to be really, I'm going to honest about it, Wendy. Okay. You know how I am about the noodles. I know how you are about the noodles. This pan is so slippery. Oh man, look at that. Did 
Just by looking at it, what do you guys think? Oh, yeah. I'd like to know what you guys think before we try it out. Tell me what you think. Seriously. Here. This last bit goes in this pan. Right there. Look at that. All the goodness. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wish we had some bread. And make, I could have made well, garlic. somebody would make some. I could have made garlic toast with that. Ooh, that would have been delicious. So, you guys, don't forget your garlic uh, egg white protein bread with this. Yes, indeed. Okay. Spoon or a fork. You pick which side. You pick what you want. I'm going to close this up. Give me then, the one with the least amount. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, your turn. Go over there, silly. You've been busy. You cleaned my whole carpet yeah, I'm kinda, in the front room. I'm a little bit on the filthy side. Well, I'm going to share. I've got furniture out of the way, but Harry did our whole carpet. Yes, he did. Oops. When he does it, not to use it. No, I don't. And then we've got Mom's chair in here. Got all the chairs right here because Harry cleaned the carpets. We put back a few things. But he shampooed. There's our shampooer. Yes, indeed. I'm very excited. He did a great job. Yes, he did. Oh. Sally, what are you doing? Huh? You ready for some um, Italian food? Yeah, she says, I'll try some. I'm going to give her a noodle. Okay. No, I don't want her to have any noodle. You poured all that stuff on here, so I'm pretty sure you're probably going to want that one. No, just get the one you want and eat it. They're the same. There you go. Take a spoon or I would use a fork to get your noodle. And then use your sauce at the end of the spoon. Okay, let me see. And grab a hunk of that chicken. Look how nice that chicken is. Ugh. I'm, I'm a scared. Ooh, that's hot. Don't burn your mouth. You know, right? Look at that. It just keeps coming. Well, hurry up. <laughs> Silly boy. It always reminds me of a rope on a helicopter for some freaking reason. Look at Does it need salt? Let me try this alone. Well, I need to know if it needs salt. Well, I gotta try this alone. Okay. I can't give you anything until I try these alone. Alone with olive and butter and cheese on them. Yeah. And, and Alfredo sauce. Okay, so I taste all the stuff she put on it, but the texture of the noodle, I'm just not into it. Not into it at all. Okay, but how about the taste? But of the, the taste is great because the noodle really doesn't have a flavor to it. It's just. And I think the noodles are a texture thing for most I people. I don't like the texture of the noodle at all. Okay. I'm sorry. No, but you're telling you know, the truth. That's the way it is. Here. I'll try one more little bite. Okay. I'll try to give you a benefit of the doubt. Oh, man, I, don't, I guess I can't do it. Okay. Why can't you? Because I can't. Why? Are you going to eat it? Yeah, I'm going to eat it. So I think for Shirata, for all the noodles, it's a texture thing with most people. Palmini noodles, it's a texture thing. Some people don't like, they're more crunchy, right? The um, shirataki noodles have a more um, rubber-like texture to them. If you like octopus, squid, and uh, calamari, you'll probably love the texture of the noodles. Um, the healthy noodles are the softest as well as the egg oh, life right. noodles that we make from egg life, they're fluffy and soft. So it depends on how you like your noodles. <laughs> but any way you look at it, you can use whatever noodle you want. But the sauce and the ease of opening up a can of chicken, throwing it together, there we go, for dinner. See, the flavor is good, right? I love it. Yeah, the flavor is fabulous. It's I love it. I love noodle. the I texture. Can't the noodles. Actually, the fettuccine noodles is much better textured than the um, spaghetti ones, I think. I don't think they are as uh, rubbery in texture. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys. Oops. Sorry. Got to have.
gotta have the mozzarella. Mm. Here, Harry, eat this, because we're gonna take a picture. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Yes, indeed. Fettuccine, chicken fettuccine Alfredo, on the fly, all in one pan, super easy, super quick, super simple. Down all the way, there you go. <laughs> you silly funny girl. She says, yes, I am. Half, half a long puppy now.